So today we've just been out on the Swale Estuary as part of the 2014 uh, Thames Harbour Seal Population Count. This is an annual survey that ZSL does um, to count the entire population of harbour seals in the Greater Thames Estuary and therefore understand a bit more about the seal population we have here. We are focusing on the harbour seal because we've seen dramatic declines in some harbour seal populations in Scotland and we want to see how the population in the Thames is doing. Um, so we do this by aerial boat and land based transects. The aerial transects cover the outer Thames estuary sandbanks, so these are further offshore where we can't reach by boat or obviously by land. Um, the boat based transects we do in the Swale estuary and the Medway estuary and we also have a few land transects to go to, to the creeks which we can't reach um, by a small boat. So with the aerial transects you can cover a really large area and we can cover all of the sandbanks and the boat transects are used in the estuaries where it's a bit more difficult to detect the seals amongst all the jetties and the salt marsh um, just to double check and get a bit closer to count how many seals there are. The boat survey today we had two observers from ZSL uh, one was looking to the left, front to the left and one was looking front to the right and we, every time we saw anything which looked like a seal we got a bit closer to check it was. If it was a seal or a group of seals we took a GPS waypoint um, to show the exact location of that group or individual and then we noted down any comments about it, for example if it was a juvenile or not. This year we counted 938 seals in total, which is really great because it's an increase from last year and shows that the Thames Estuary can support this big soil population. When we look at the results, we counted a similar number of harbour seals to last year with 489 individuals and actually counted more than double the number of grey seals than last year with 449 individuals. This really shows the importance of doing this survey each year so that we can see how the populations are doing and monitor if there's any interaction or competition between the species. We do this survey in August. Um, the rest of the um, year it would be great if the members of the public could let us know if they see seals in the Thames by going onto our interactive map at zsl.org forward slash in the Thames.